The most important thing about a cruise to understand is the cruise line actually has, it's a fixed cost for them. So having a full ship is most important. And the most important thing is to get somebody on that ship. Um, a lot of times you'll see like a, a rate that's out there for the minimum uh, stateroom level, just so the, the, an inside room. And I'm using this as an example for the sporting event. You might have tickets to, that are in a field box somewhere. You might want to sell a ticket that's in the upper, upper level, so the perceived thing that they're buying, and then saying, since you're a first-time buyer, I'm actually upgrading you so you can have that experience. It's a different way of actually using it so you're actually in your positioning something that they're having a good experience for the first time. Now, the expectation isn't that you're going to get it again the second time around, but at least you've now built a bond with a customer that you can actually have a lifetime relationship with. Um, so there are other ways that you can actually have that type of relationship with. And I know a lot of them, you're listing your, your, your stuff on a site that has a volume of people coming to, but whenever you can drive to get that personal relationship the first time, I guarantee, although someone said they're never going to buy a ticket from you for um, 50 bucks if it's, that's what it was, it's if that first time is you sold them a $10 seat for 10 bucks in the upper area and gave them an upgrade to a, a better seat, I guarantee they'll say, wow, that was a great experience. How much was that ticket? And they'll actually buy themselves into that better ticket later on. So it's a different way of actually selling that approach.